it's an awesome kit. So as you can see, so many bits and pieces, big box, lots of figures. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies and I'm gonna be looking at the Bronco Jeep set with the British paratroopers. Now they actually call it the British Airborne Troops Riding in a One Quarter Ton Truck and Trailer. That's a pretty long title, I think. So if we just say Willie's Jeep with a whole bunch of British paratroopers, I think that's easy to remember. So these are all in 35th scale. Um, as you probably know, a lot of armor is in 135th scale. Uh, it's probably the best scale I think to work with when you're considering vehicles and figures put together and you're going to be building up a diorama. It all gives everything a good degree of um, detail and also it gives you enough room to use multiple vehicles. So it's a pretty big box when you're considering it's just a Willys Jeep with a trailer and a bunch of figures. So we'll look inside and we'll see what it's all about. Now, actually, I should say that this is actually made by Bronco. So Bronco is another one of the um, uh, Chinese companies, fairly new, um, been around for a few years, which are making some really interesting kits and adding extra value. So these have got extra bits in it as well. So let's just open it up here. Pop a bit over there. All right, let's start off with the first bits. I think I'll start with the most obvious bit, the Willys Jeep. Okay, interesting thing about this is it's all in one piece. So this is a very complicated mold. So it'd be a slide mold. Like the Tamiya one is in uh, multiple sections. So you've got side panels and rear, but all in one makes it a lot easier actually. So it's fully, uh, uh, I guess, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Already straight, is that the word? All aligned, that's the word I'm looking for. So you've got the grill already in there. So we'll pop this just over there. Okay, so let's get into some of the small sprues. Okay, so here we've got an accessory pack for the figures. You've got helmets. So this is a generic sort of um, spares type. So you've got weapons that you probably won't be using, but you've got uh, Enfield rifles, Bren gun, Thompson. You've got a variety of different um, um, supports there for the machine guns. Uh, I think there's uh, some Lewis guns here as well. Uh, bits of a Bren there. Let's see. Ah, uh, Sten I should have said. That looks like a Sten bit. Okay, so there's a bit of radio. You've got uh, some helmets. Uh, so these are bits and pieces that you can use for either a spares for other builds, or you could put those around on the Jeep as well if you like. You've got some sacks and things. So it's quite a bit open for customization. Okay, so there's, uh, there's actually, looking at this, there's three sprues of the same they can choose. So they're all in there. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a clear bits. So, got the windscreen for the Jeep, and then you've got the clear headlight covers, and also tail uh, lights as well. Over here, this looks like all the bits for the trailer. Okay, so you'll see on the front there, Got all the dudes hanging out on the back of the trailer. So these trailers would have been uh, hitched up to the uh, the back of the uh, the Jeep. Now this particular um, representation of this Jeep is designed uh, for around about D-Day. So the vehicles would have been uh, loaded up into gliders and they were flown into uh, France uh, the day before the, the main D-Day landings occurred. So these would have just been pushed out of the, uh, the gliders when they were down and then they would just would have quickly hitched them up and they would have been ready to go straight from there. So you can see the, the couple of wheels. So you've got the opposite side of the wheel here. And then you've got your uh, leaf springs. Really nicely detailed everything here. Super clean, you can't see any flash at all. You've got super, super fine bits here. So you've got little handles um, and hitching points. And these are all there to add all that extra detail. It's really impressive seeing all these small bits. Okay, let's pop that there. All right, so we've got this bit here. Okay, so these are the bits for the Jeep. Okay, so you've got uh, engine detail. So there's radiator, so you've got front end here, you can see the uh, the headlights there. The grill that's already molded there would go in the front. Uh, various parts of the engine gearbox. You've got the, uh, uh, the chain. Here's the engine block. Uh, this is the front of the radiator. And then you've got, uh, there's a couple of different um, Steering wheels there, slightly different shape. So the spokes are different. These are the uh, pretty standard tools you find on the side of a Jeep. You get your, your shovel and your axe. Spare tire. You get your axles here for the four wheel drive. 
Uh, and then we've got various components here which look like parts of the suspension, I'm guessing. You've got your um, gearbox uh, knobs and such. So uh, you've got your hitch for the trailer. And then you've got the, uh, your mounted rifle on the side as well. Okay, this one here, let's flip it over this way. Okay, so you've got the main chassis. That's really nice too, because that's all molded in one. Uh, you don't have to worry about aligning the two parts, because uh, doing chassis, rail chassis like this, quite easy to get them out of alignment. You've got all your um, leaf springs, your instrument panel, you've got your, your hood or the bonnet, exhaust with uh, a scrape guard, and you've got your rear panel, you've got your windscreen, uh, either with, you can put the glass in there, or you can have it with the uh, the canvas cover. You have that up or down. Now, obviously, if you do this, you'll have that down. Uh, you've got all the different seats. The seats are quite nice. They've got the uh, uh, actual fabric type of um, creases in them. You got your seats there. There'll be a what's the seat at the back? The seat at the back would be a bench seat, which I'm guessing is parts here. There we go. And then you got your fuel tank. Okay. Now we get into. It's amazing that all these bits for such a small uh, four-wheel drive. So you just imagine how much detail there is. So here we've got a option for uh, Thompson machine gun. You've got the wheels here. So obviously you've got two sheets of the same thing. So you've got the four wheels for your Jeep. Uh, down here we've got, uh, they look like the drum brakes. And then these things, I'm not too sure what they are, but they look like parts of the uh, uh, suspension. Uh, you got shocks there, and then you got finer detail here again. So you got little uh, handles um, and hitches. Just there. Okay, pop that there. All right, what we got here? We've got some more weapons. So here's a weapon set. So we've got Bren guns. We've got Lee Enfields. Um, you got pistols here as well. So you've got. Uh, a revolver holster, revolver out, and then there's also a Sten gun. So there's a Sten gun there with a the magazine separate that would just get glued in the side there. There's two two packs of that. Okay. Here we go. So there's a full set of um, jerry cans. So these are the later jerry cans that the Allied use. They're very similar to the German style because basically they just copied the Germans because the design was so good. So they've got the same three point handles here for the top and then they've got the same style of um, reinforcing. And then there's all the uh, the caps on that side and then there's the uh, extension in case you want one opened up to look like the refueling. Okay, from here we move into the figures. Oh, actually, no, still got another bit here. So we've got an optional hood here. Now, why have we got an optional hood? Not too sure. Um, that'll probably explain. So there's different rear panel, different um, instrument panel, more weapons again, more tools, and then different tires and different spare. So looking at these, what is the difference? Okay, so it looks like the tires are slightly different. The wheels appear to be the same. Although this, I don't know, I have to have a close look at that a bit later. Must be some sort of slight difference to them. So I've got that back there. All right, what else have we got here? Um, oh, that's pretty much the same. I'll put back this one. Okay, let's move on to the figures now. Might be a bit hard to see, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine figures in total so you can imagine just this here with nine figures on it it'd be a very jam-packed uh, little vehicle can't really see the faces here but the faces are very very well detailed we'll see if we can see them from this side oh there's one here i think that's a good example right here so pretty crisp so the main difference is or what you look for is uh, how crisp the nose is and then around to the side as well so the eyes are uh, uh, pretty deep sockets, so they're pretty good. And they've got pretty good detail for the helmets as well. These have um, strips of fabric on them to use as camouflage. So there's a selection of uh, different backpacks. And then over here, there's a wicker basket. 
And you can see the wicker design is super, super fine. You actually see it looks like it's interweaved. It's really nice. So each one of these figures has a different pose. And then along with that, we've got a whole selection here of, you've got all the insignia for uh, the soldiers here. You've got the, uh, the airborne marking across the top. And then you've got different, um, <clears throat> different ranks. And then a few other decals, so serial numbers for the side of the, uh, the Jeep as well. And then you've got a whole bunch of these photo wedge. You've got various straps and various um, uh, hitching hooks and such for the actual vehicle itself. So let's see if we can get this sort of opened up a bit. Be stuck inside here. So you've got various bits that'll be for the vehicle. And then over here, you've got more markings. So you've got a full array of um, numbers. You can choose whatever numbers you like to put onto the vehicle itself. And then there's some insignia for the, uh, the different divisions. Big star there. Okay, from here we've got the manual. So big manual, obviously because there's a lot of bits. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got a paint chart across here, various brands. So you've got Mr. Hobby, um, Humbrol and Tamir. Parts count here. All the photo wedge and all the decals. So the shaded areas are the bits that you don't use. So I guess before where we saw those different tires, so the actual tires you do use are on that bigger um, sprue I looked at just before. Okay, so you start off with building the engine for the Jeep, dropping it into the chassis. You do the suspension. The exhaust is going in. Wheels, tires. Um, got here. So this is uh, the front end. So you can incorporate uh, the steering front. Uh, different option. Okay, so you can set it with different amounts of steering. So you can either have it set straight, glued up, um, turn to the left, turn to the right. And then here we start adding all the supports for the inside of the Jeep, the chassis. You've got the front end being done. Radiator and lights going in. Um, fuel tanks. We've got additional bits and pieces. Seats. Instrument panel, the rear seat's going in. Instruments, we've got there, and then we've got the body connecting onto the chassis. Uh, all the, um, the jerry cans going in. Um, you've got the rest of the engine going in there. That looks like, what is that? This is the air filter maybe? And then there's an optional hitch. So there's a front hitch there. You've got the bonnet going on. So you've got your, your options for the different um, windshields there. So that's a covered windshield getting flattened down. Extra bits and pieces going on to the front. It's really loaded full of um, accessories. Uh, your optional weapon cradles. And then get into building the, the back trailer. So you've got the framework, floor, wall going in. And over here. Okay, so suspension going onto the trailer, getting mounted on the bottom. Here we are here with all the supports on the inside. And then that's pretty much a finished model of the vehicle itself. And then you get into the vehicles, uh, the figures, and then optional bits. So there's a the wicker basket we saw before. You got backpacks which are optional. And then figures with a different armament. Like so. So a lot of figures. I think figures really add to a model. And then you've got your options there of different decals and different colors. So there you go. That, that is the Bronco uh, Jeep with uh, British uh, paratroopers. So this is as they would have been uh, going into uh, D-Day. And um, it's an awesome kit. So as you can see, so many bits and pieces, big box, lots of figures. Uh, lots of um, parts for uh, the vehicle itself. So you don't have to have it like this. It actually has all the full interior details so with the engine as well. So you could always have this built with the, uh, the hood open as well. So great kit, I think. That's the Bronco 
well this jeep with British paratroopers.